Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. This is now the second game for this March 11, 2022 NBA game day. This is LA Clippers with a record of 35 wins and 33 losses, visiting Atlanta Hawks uh, having a record of 31 and 34. The game will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button. At the same time, click on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, uh, standings first for these two teams so that we'll have a closer look at them. Um, start, starting with Atlanta Hawks, they are at number 10 of the Eastern Conference. Uh, for their last 10 games, they have won 5, so still decent. But approaching this game, man, the Hawks are on back-to-back uh, -back losses. Well, the Clippers, they are at number 8 of the Western Conference. For their last 10 games, man, they have uh, won 7. Approaching this game, the Clippers is coming off a win. Alright, so the Hawks, they are uh, actually having the advantage in terms of home court. The Clippers, they would have the advantage in terms of uh, momentum as they have won 7 out of their last 10 and they're coming off fresh from a win. Uh, and as we all know, uh, both uh, teams actually had their rest day, you know, uh, last night or yesterday. So let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. For LA Clippers, this one's long, but you know, uh, I think they got used to it already, <laughs> the Clippers. Uh, we got uh, Rocco or Robert Covington. Uh, Jason Priestin, uh, Paul George, Norman Powell, Jay Scrub, and Kawhi Leonard. So that's a total of six players out for the Clippers. And for Atlanta Hawks, man, this is crazy. All of them are actually available and no one is actually in the injury list. I'm always happy to see whenever a team is, you know, is, is like that. Um, always happy to see that no one is hurt, no one is ill, no one is actually uh, injured or whatever. Alright, so let's take a look at the spread. It opened up with minus 6 for the home team, Atlanta Hawks. And as we speak, it is still at minus 6, Atlanta. Alright, so what are my take in, in here? Number 1, um, Atlanta Hawks, they are a very good team whenever they are playing at home. And, and that I can guarantee you that. And that I can guarantee. Uh, I can remember when they were having this uh, long losing slump. Um, they just needed to got you know to get back home, and when they get when they got back home, they actually you know piled those wins you know straight, and uh, right now they're actually back you know they're actually back in the playoff hunt. Now for the Los Angeles Clippers, this team is actually one of those uh, underrated teams uh, for the season. Man, as you can see, uh, they don't have Paul George, they don't have a uh, Kawhi, uh, they don't even have some of their other players. You know, not just those uh, top two players that they have, but look at them now. <laughs> they have won seven out of their last ten. They're what I don't know, number seven, number eight of the Western Conference. So they are still actually doing well. Just imagine if uh, PG would be there. Just imagine if Kawhi would be there. So, meaning the, the the team that they have is actually doing well. You know the you know the the teamwork and you know and the um the everything, man. I I liked I liked Teron Liu on, on how to you know on how he handles uh this team right now. There are a lot of young guys out there, but you know he actually gives a lot of confidence to those you know to those players of his. Uh, hence, you know the the result that we're seeing, you know. Um, I'm, I can't wait to see uh, the Los Angeles Clippers, you know, getting healthy and getting back all those players, you know, who are out, man. Just imagine. They would be scary. Um, on this game, though, since Atlanta Hawks will be uh, the, obviously the healthier team, they don't have anyone in the injury list. They are actually at home. I think they, I think they would have the, um, the better chances of, you know, uh, taking home the win, especially they're you know especially they're coming off back to back losses. This is the very perfect time to actually uh, uh you know get the win, and you know to try to get back to the winning column. Although the Los Angeles Clippers, I'm pretty sure that you know they would not let that happen easily. Um, the, the Atlanta Hawks would still have a lot of advantages because they are at home at the same time. Um, uh, their starting five would actually be there present and i'm also expecting a, a, bet, a better game for uh, for trey young um especially uh like two games uh, two, two games back um you know he messed up there, during that game against uh detroit pistons right and now he's at home and, uh, and you know trey young is very comfortable playing at home so i think 
it will be Atlanta Hawks who would actually um, you know who would actually uh, take home the win. But I'm still siding with the Clippers with the plus six because I think the LA Clippers, I mean, I think the Atlanta Hawks would not be able to like blow this one out in any case. Indeed, they would win. I guess it would still be close. All right. So my pick on this one would be LA Clippers with the plus six on it. Clippers plus six. Peace out. Pass love and God bless.